And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. Who yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point? But he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook, always has the frame, just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Nelson is eight years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of six wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, Dynamite. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Reykjavik, Iceland. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Are you ready? All right, ready to go for round one. He has won his last three fights. We'll see if he can extend the winning streak to four. He has been nothing if not dominant every step of the way during this streak. So no denying what is at stake for this young man tonight. First order of business, though, taking care of what is an obvious challenge in front of him here tonight. Ooh. Oh, beautiful level change. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nelson gets caught with that punch. Muay Thai plump. Oh! Knee to the body. Now goes in and... All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of things. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice one, two there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now. Oh! Huge right hand! Right 
there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Dynamite! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Excellent. Listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Seconds left. Beautiful combo. Keep at it. Here we go. That's how we do it. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Great work! Good 
job. Good job. All day. Thirty to go. Show me. Job in there. I can already see some improvement in your punches. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Here we go. Baby, that's a combo. Come on. Beautiful job. Your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Ten point. All right, thirty seconds left. Ah, yeah, yes, big punch. Yeah. That'll leave a bruise. That's it. Come on. Excellent job today. Better than last time, and it'll be better next time. Time to burn and get after it. Here we go. Excellent blocking. Nice strike. That'll keep him honest. That's how we work. This is when we put it all together. Great job. Excellent. Excellent work. Don't stop now. 30 on the clock. Standing kick. Hey, great job in there.
Fast, smooth, strong. That's what we're doing today. Great speed on that combo. More of that. Let's go. opponent is going to be no match for you. Today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. Listen, you fight like that, you're gonna dominate. Guaranteed. Good job in there. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. 
All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting, and out of the blue corner, a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Dynamite. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Well, his last fight will be a tough act to follow as we get ready for round one here. Brutal knockout his last time out, and that positioned him for this opportunity here tonight. So can he keep the momentum going as the challenges get stiffer, keep the winning streak intact, and of course try to get another win by knockout to take his popularity soaring to another level? And he landed the right hand there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the time. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, huge kick to the body. Oh! Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. How good is that right hand? Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. Nice hammer fist. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get him. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He says, unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Nice kick. Well, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely of kicks. Kick, 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 <laughs> kick. Until you stop it, he's going to continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. Oh, fades upstairs and lands flush to the ground. land perfect. That is what he's actually looking to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. 
So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Including the winner by knockout, Dynamite! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight he did exactly that, congratulations.